I'm Chris with pdq.com. Today we're going to go over using sub-expressions in strings. Sub-expressions are just expressions within expressions. So what's an expression? It's just a little bit of code that evaluates with, with a return value. So in, in the case of doing math from PowerShell, if I did 2 plus 2 at the console, it'll return 4. This is an expression. If I want to put that expression within another expression, it gets a little more complex. We have to use the sub-expression operator, the dollar sign, open parentheses, cr close parentheses. So, we'll show you that in action. So, jumping into it, uh, let's say we had this uh, 2 plus 2 expression that we want to do, but we want to wrap some text around it. So, my go-to commandment for that is write output. Uh, we use double strings to signify that it is, double quotes, excuse me, to signify that it is a string. And if I want to say 2 plus 2 equals, and then I wanted to have what 2 plus 2 equals, this won't do what you think it might do. 2 plus 2 equals 2 plus 2, and it gives it back literally. If I want to take that same command and actually have it evaluate something, I wrap that around with a dollar and parentheses that says, take this little bit uh, and evaluate it. This is known as a sub-expression. So if I run this command, you'll see that 2 plus 2 equals 4 is output to the screen, which is exactly what we're looking for. And this can be used for not only arithmetic here, but also for regular commandlets such as uh, git process. So if we use the git process commandlet for git process PowerShell for this window that we have open, if we store that value in a variable, my process, uh, we can actually ac access all of the properties uh, and, and get all the values that we that we could ever want more. We could also get some, you know, let's say we just want to have the ID. So we'll do ID. That's great. Well, what if we want to use that within a write output string? So write output my PowerShell process ID equals, if we try using what I just did, my process, you're going to get the full process itself rather than the property that you want. Well, you might be tempted to do the following, my process .id. Well, that works. What if we do that within the string as well? Well, you're going to get the same error. You're going to get this weird stuff on the screen that says, here's the process, the object type, dot ID, and it gives it back that dot ID literal. In order to actually get to, to evaluate, you need the sub-expression uh, operator. So we'll wrap what we're doing here with the dollar parenthesis and then close parenthesis, and it'll give us the ID directly within that string. Uh, in fact, you can even take it one step further if you're crazy and uh, actually do the entire thing within the entire get process PowerShell within the sub-expression. So my PowerShell process ID equals, and then we could do get process PowerShell, pipe that to select object. I'm gonna expand this property just because so, I don't want the actual property name, I just want the, the value here for ID, and we'll get the same result. That's how you use uh, the sub-expression operator. I'm Chris with pdq.com.